Last week, the town council of Yellow Springs, Ohio, voted against the plan to create affordable housing. We all know of Yellow Springs' most famous resident, Dave Chappelle, who adamantly opposed the plan and announced that he would leave town and take his money with him if it were passed. When news first broke, many were quick to share their opinions of the headline and went as far as bashing Chappelle because of it. However, as more information about the story comes out, it's been revealed that the housing plan that Chappelle opposed wasn't actually affordable after all, and Dave and his team didn't waste any time to respond. Today, we have our Comedy Hype analysts, Vanessa Fraction, Capone, and Pierre calling into the show to give their reactions. But first, let's take a look at this clip. I just want to say, and Marianne, I could talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the village council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they it's out a $65 million a year company. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. Now, I want to dive right into reactions. Pierre, what's your reaction to that clip? <laughs> Honestly, I thought they bought the Chappelle show back, and that was Clayton Bigsby and shit. I was like, I was like, wow, yeah, Clayton Bigsby. I like that's one of my favorite episodes. Um, no, he, he came with the hammer and put the hammer down. He said, "My money or your money," you know. And I guess big bank take little bank. So, um, you know, from that, just just from that, um, you know, the, the man stood his ground and he was serious about what he uh, was talking about. You know, we can delve into after, after that, but yeah, that was my initial reaction. Like, damn, Chappelle. I see how you're doing negotiations, boy. No wonder you get that kind of money from Netflix. Damn. Capone, I, I want to come to you next. What's your reaction after seeing that clip? Um, you know me, when a black man speaks <laughs> and have that much power, I was excited and I didn't even know what it was about, to be honest <laughs> with you. When I saw the clip, I was like, well, oh man, this is great. Whatever he's doing, I'm with it. <laughs> yeah. Vanessa, I want I want you to chime in on that. What's your reaction when you first saw that clip? Well, when I first saw the clip, I had already read a headline about the uh, putting down low income housing. And so when I saw the actual clip, I was like, what the, f you know what I'm saying? I was like, what in the Scrooge McDuck is going on? I thought, I know this is an old ass reference, but I thought he was Mr. Potter from It's a Wonderful Life and was gonna take over the town. It just sounded, it sounded, it was extreme, like y'all said, like it definitely uh, stood me up to attention uh, for sure. And But I did think to myself, I said, this looks so crazy. It's gotta be some kind of spin to it. Like what's the, I wanted to know more. Right, now speaking of headlines, Vanessa, a lot of people did read those headlines and responded very quickly, as I mentioned earlier. Um, uh, one user says, Dave Chappelle has straight up disappointed me. How can you be a millionaire, but be against for affordable housing for people? Another user used a picture from Chappelle's show, which I'll display here, and says, when Dave Chappelle hears that an affordable housing development is being considered in his community, and it's when Dave Chappelle was dressed up as a white man. So I want to come to you, Vanessa. Why do you think so many people were upset or still are upset at Dave Chappelle after seeing this, this clip and reading the headline? Why do I, I mean, because we don't have all the information. And it, from what we were given, it just sounds like, um, you know, he's gotten to a certain uh, level in his, you know, career and who he is. Of course, he's a millionaire and that you don't care about the, you know, uh, the smaller person or the, the the one that's going through or the struggle or what have you. I think people are upset because it just freaking looked bad. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so now that we're learning more, we'll see about, you know, how upset we are. But of course, if they say, Dave Chappelle, I thought y'all stood with us. You know, it already looked crazy that you in a 4,000 uh, population town full of white folks and you gonna put the hammer down on the uh, housing development situation, you know? So it just, it didn't look good. So I'm sure that's why everybody was pissed. Pierre, I wanna come to you next. After seeing that, why do you think so many people were upset initially? First of all, I was upset that you charged over $300,000 for a house in Yellow Springs, Ohio. What the hell? 300,000 is called affordable housing in Yellow Springs? What the hell are you talking about, man? I thought you were gonna say $38,000 affordable housing. That wasn't the affordable like, housing, Pierre. They well, was gonna okay, do a portion. Maybe. They was gonna make a portion for affordable well, housing. Well, okay, whatever. The three hundred thousand dollar came up. It should be three hundred thousand dollars for three hundred thousand houses in Yellow Springs. Okay, where the hell is Yellow Springs? Dave Chappelle the only one to ever put Yellow Springs on the map. But okay, so with him, with with them people feeling bad about it and neglecting, they don't. We don't know the, all the inners inners of it. Like she said, like Vanessa said. Um, I know Chappelle. He's not a kind of person who pushes down the, the person who ain't, you know, on his level. He's not that type of individual, looks down at those who ain't in the downtrodden. 
So he probably has another situation at hand. Like he said, those ain't going to be affordable housing, he was saying. You know, so the plan seemed like it wasn't a real plan, a strong enough plan for him to buy into. And people, in this, he ain't the only one. The other people in that town didn't buy into it also. So let's be real. It's not just him. He's had the biggest voice. So I think it's just a matter of we don't know the nuts and bolts of everything. And it might not look as easy as it, is, as it looks on outside. We can surely stay home and say, oh, man, Chappelle, wrong, y'all. You can try to look out for the Lord, man. That ain't true necessarily. I, you know, you got to know the inner, inner and outs of it. So until I know that, I can't speak 100% facts on it. Come on, I want to come to you next. Why do you think when this first came out and that headline and this video was pushed that a lot of people were upset? I think Vanessa made a very val valuable point for the fact that um, it looked, the way the headlines looked, it looked like Dave was against affordable housing. And we all know what affordable housing goes with Black people. And so it definitely, even when I, I heard, I was like a little bit shocked at first, but then as the story starts to unravel, you, you kind of understand why he felt that way. Right, yep. And now speaking of unraveling, as I mentioned, his team did speak out and I want to read that quote and then Capone, I want to come back to you. Um, so his team says, Dave Chappelle didn't kill affordable housing. Concerned residents in a responding village council killed a half-baked plan which never actually offered affordable housing. Neither Dave nor his neighbors are against affordable housing. However, they are against the poorly vetted, cookie-cutter, sprawl-style development deal which has little regard for the community, culture, and infrastructure of the village. Capone, I want to come back to you after reading that and ask, do you agree with Chappelle's stance to, to be protective of his community or his village, as his team called it? Yeah, uh, I, can, I can see his argument. I, if I pay $10 million for a house and I have my house on a, a, a certain amount of property and you want to come into that property and put, I don't care if it's a $200,000 house, it, they don't fit together. And I think that most of the community in there, whether they're white or black, has this certain, uh, you know, a range of finances that they put into this community. And to be able to just put anybody in, I wouldn't go for that either. Vanessa, I want to bring that same question to you. Do, do you agree with Chappelle's stance to say, hey, you know, I got to stand up for my community. I, this, is, this doesn't quite fit our village. Um, I, I Yes, to answer your question, I believe you should protect what you um, have a heart for and you have a heart for where your home is. You know, when it, um, I actually don't live in the city of Atlanta because I like the prices where I live a little further out and I like the community. I don't like all that hustle and bustle and all that mess. You know what I mean? And I've actually lived in quite a few small towns uh, coming up in my life. Shout out Mount City, Illinois. Um, but it's, I can understand where you're like, hey, I don't want all this stuff coming here. We want this to stay more about nature and we want to keep, you know, uh, the, the rivers clean. I don't know. You know what I mean? But I feel like you do have a right to protect um, where you live, right. especially if you move there for a certain reason, you know, I hope I'm saying that. Yeah, no, no, you make perfect sense. Pierre, I want you to chime in on that. What do you think about Dave Chappelle saying like, hey, this doesn't fit our village. I'm against it. I'll pull out. Do you agree with him? As I always say, the devil's in the details. I don't know the details of how that place is structured, but Dave Chappelle has put a lot of, uh, a, a lot, shined a lot of light on his town. We never heard of Yellow Springs before. This mean, most of us didn't. He's been a comedy club. So he's bringing attention to the town. Now, maybe he feels like the attention he's bringing, the town, townspeople like it better, the way, you know, slow and growing, opposed to throwing something big into it really quickly that may disrupt the way the flow of it's going. So maybe from that aspect, you know, I said, I can understand, but it's also, they're not, they're not building on Chappelle's property. They're building in, in his city, but he's even fighting for those who don't live in his city, like where he lives at exactly. He lives miles away from where it's happening. He just feels like as a whole, he doesn't want it to be disrupted. If you don't have a perfect, a good plan. If you're just throwing houses up to make money, he's like, no, nah, man, you're going to yeah, throw man. houses to make money. I respect that. How, are you, how is this going to help the community in a long way? If you just put houses there and you're not making it work for us, then what are you doing? At least what I'm doing, I'm trying to make it work for us as a community. 
I think that's what he's saying to me. Right, yeah, no, and I think what a lot of people can learn out of this situation, that headlines are not <laughs> the full story. They're, you have to go to the detail and actually read it. Now that we're having more information come out that were actually, you know, was made available, but a lot of people just taking the headline, seeing the video and running with it. So as always, I appreciate y'all for calling and chiming in. You heard from us, now we wanna hear from you in the comments below. What are your thoughts now that Dave and his team has responded? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. I still Put it in the comments. On affordable housing. I'm just <laughs> Put it Put in it. the comments. Put it in the comments. Did you enjoy today's show? You can stop by comedyhype.com backslash shop to pick up your Comedy Hype News show mug today. And don't forget to always protect black culture.